in western Pennsylvania, we actually have the second oldest population in the United States. And it's the elderly patients that are the ones that are at risk for falls and falls leading to fractures. Uh, the hip fracture especially is common in the elderly population. A fall from standing in, in a patient that has osteoporosis can often lead to a fracture of the hip. And uh, sadly, half of those patients, once they sustain a uh, hip fracture, they'll lose their independence. And that is a big burden for society and for the family to take care of these patients. Fractures of the hip um, are technically a surgical emergency. All of these patients will need surgery, and our goal is to get them to the operating room quickly and safely. It has been shown if you delay surgery more than 48 hours from the time of fracture, the risk of complications will go up. So we would like to evaluate the patient thoroughly when they arrive in the emergency department, do a thorough physical examination, all the appropriate diagnostic testing has to be done, and uh, we then stratify the risk for surgery and discuss that with the various consultants to make sure the patient can get to the operating room quickly and safely without unnecessary testing that would only delay the process. We found that we can improve our outcomes with the geriatric fracture patient by utilizing a multidisciplinary team. It's not just the orthopedic surgeon, but we need the internal medicine doctors, the hospitalists, the geriatricians, the endocrinologists, the physical therapists, the pharmacists that help us to minimize the extra medications that many of these patients are on that might lead to confusion and may lead them to have another fall or another incident. Our goal is to return the patient back to their home and we want to get them back to their home environment as quickly and as safely as possible. Uh, in order to do that, it requires a good bit of rehab after their surgery, and our goal is to get them up and out of bed the day after surgery and start them on the rehab process. We'd like to be able to allow them to weight bear to tolerance. Many of these patients will use a walker. They'll need physical therapy and occupational therapy, and many will temporarily be at a nursing home or uh, some sort of uh, rehab center until they're strong enough to get back to their own environment. Here at UPMC, we're very fortunate to have experts in all aspects of uh, research and treatment uh, that will help to improve the outcomes with geriatric fractures. Our goal is to get the patient back to living independently, and we're fortunate here at UPMC to have the experts that we need.